And so once you actually got there, how much did your expectation of what the experience might be like, how much did it actually meet the reality of what you experienced? You know, I was so scared on this plane flying over there. I had no idea what to expect. I usually produce my own stuff. So, you know, not having any of that control was very scary. Um, I was really worried about the physical aspects. Um, even physically getting to where we shot this was harrowing for me. Like we fl flew to Sydney and then I had to take a four hour trip to the middle of the outback, a four hour passenger plane trip. And as soon as I landed, they wanted me to immediately get in my outfit and I couldn't stop vomiting. So, I mean, <laughs> it was, it was a physical challenge for me all the way. Um, but yeah, it ended up being, you know, n socially like super fun. And I just really wasn't expecting that. So, um, I, I just am really happy that I did it. Well, I've heard you guys have a, uh, a cast text chain. How has that been kind of keeping those relationships post the series and what has it been like reliving the series with them as it's now airing? Well, it's funny because I have some of the people on the text chain saved wrong. And so I just kept like, I'm like, why does Christopher Min's plots keep sending us basketball updates? And so I realized I have some like, you know, some some of the some of the names wrong um, saved on my thing. So I tried to get those all straight. And then also some of the people on the text chat are people that I don't haven't met yet because they, as you know, four new people are coming. So that's a little weird as well. But, you know, it's always fun to keep in contact. And, you know, a few of us watched the pilot or the first episode together. And that was really fun. Yeah. What was the most unexpected kind of relationship, even if it was temporary, that you got out of this? Who was the kind of the person that you bonded with that you may maybe would not have seen coming? Um, you know, I thought Rhonda was really like kind of almost like a den mother. She was kind of the glue that held everyone together. And, you know, she just has this like real emotional streak, but also is super strong, obviously, in other ways. And, you know, it was just really cool getting to know her. Yeah. You guys were put through, as you mentioned, you know, in the physical element, a lot of really crazy challenges. What for you was actually the hardest? The absolute hardest for me was putting on this oppressive uh, 60 pound outfit that when I latched it all together, I couldn't breathe very well. A lot of times it would fog up so I couldn't see it all. I couldn't even see stand carrying the 60 pounds of equipment I feel like if they do a show like this again they should maybe troubleshoot the equipment and um possibly some of the things that we were carrying around maybe there's a way to make it lighter um but I think you know to their credit the producers really wanted to simulate this Mars experience and everything we were carrying in this backpack um was essential so you know, we kind of had to have it like that. So, yeah. As a viewer, the the bile uh, week that you guys had was certainly a difficult one to watch. How was it actually? Was that as bad as it looked on screen as you guys were kind of trying to clean up the bile, or was it uh, dramatized a little bit for reality TV effect? No, it was not dra dramatized for effect. It was disgusting. And when I asked what it really was. It was actually, they had put fake vomit in it. Like there's like movie vomit that still make, makes you want to vomit and smells like vomit. So that's what they used. Isn't that charming? That sounds just as bad as it appeared on TV. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you just use real vomit? <laughs> 